today we are here playing F1 2019. We are here racing in Hungary. Now we did do qualifying. Now uh, we just start here the race in second. I'm gonna make up for our relatively bad race uh, at Germany. Uh, we had two races now in a row. We haven't really performed our best. Here we're going to Hungary. The last race for the return to summer F1 2019 that follows the schedule. Of course, we're still going to have more F1 2019 throughout the return to summer, but this is the last episode um, that's going to go along with the schedule because Formula 1 has their break in the summer uh, after racing in Hungary, which goes until the beginning of September. So. The return to summer will be over by the time that Formula 1 racing returns. So we will just be taking a little bit of a... Uh, That's a decent start. Good job. A little bit of a change here to the return to summer. No more of these uh, following the schedule because I'm left. So after this, I know we are going to be racing in... Where are we? I don't know. Bahrain in America. I know there's one other one in there. I don't remember where we're racing Mercedes. Because I know Bahrain, we're doing McLaren in America, we're doing Haas. Where are we doing Mercedes? Not Germany. We have Ferrari in Italy. Uh, we did the classic Red Bull. Oh, we're doing Spain. Spain. Mercedes in Spain. Uh, yeah, we did the classic Red Bull uh, car 2010 in China. Now, we do have one other one that I'm not gonna mention what it is. The final part of the one video of the summer final episode of Return to Summer. Uh, I guess I'm special for another point I'm not going to tell you what we're racing or what car we're racing. A special episode at a different track that I have not mentioned yet. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Return to Summer kicks off the final month here. Actually, I believe this is the second episode of August. The first one was a full week of August. Uh, the first full week in August. This is the first episode of it. So welcome to August and the return to summer. Now, of course, we did a GTA that video. Was the lap of the race. That Keep this up. In August, but you know. So kind of pulling away here. Got a good start. Uh, you know, pretty basic. But we do have a pit stop still to do. Of course, anything's possible in these races. Anyways. Uh, Hunger's a really fun track to drive as well. I really, um, I'm really a fan of driving this track. Caution. Caution. Uh, it's one of the ones that I do enjoy. There's just the majority of these tracks that I enjoy driving. See, so instead of that, we'll just bring them right back in. Probably we're gonna actually cause like a penalty because we're going to one of the tracks and blocking the This is a video game so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Not really actually just a lot of stuff. Um but either way I don't look too far over and brought Buttas and Hamilton right up to me. Uh, I don't really know who we're gonna race for some of the actually I feel like I the only team I don't know who I'm racing yet of the remaining drivers, the remaining teams, is Haas. I don't really know between those two drivers. Uh, but for Mercedes, I'll be racing as Lewis Hamilton, and I'll be racing as Leonard Norris for Fire. We're leading our teammate by we raced, um, zero seconds. The Tor Russell, we did Alex Albon, and then we did Charles Leclerc. 
course, we raise the Red Bull. Typically, the Max Verstappen. Uh, we did one. We did silver stuff. We raised the Pierre Gas, but that's it. He's not nearly as good as Max Verstappen. Is. That's that's a known fact. You can look at most of the races that have happened. Let's take, for example, the two races that Max has won this season. I do want to talk about the German Grand Prix a little bit here in this video as well. Um, just because... Normally we don't talk about the races, but that was one that's a pretty good. We talked about... Uh, Austria. He's actually recorded the video for that after the Austrian Grand Prix actually happened. So cool. uh, but yeah, we can take a look at like the two races that Max has won this season. And Pierre is just done. Terrible. And then, I mean, take a look at Austria. Max won that, and Pierre got lapped. Like, that's what it was really, really bad. You know, we could take Mercedes, for example, this season. Like, Lewis Hamilton's won most of the race. Right, for the whole season, and for Mercedes. But, Valtteri Bottas has been right there. He's been like second or third most of the race this season. Obviously, Germany's the outlier uh, for both Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. It's an outlier. But, you know, all the races that Lewis Hamilton won, Valtteri Bottas has been right there. Like, second, third, like, they've been around each other. And then looking at Red Bull, the other team that's won races this year, Max Verstappen's won them, and then Pierre gets a terrible race that Max has won. Uh, in Austria, like I said, Pierre was a lot down. And then we go to Germany, and he ends up crashing out. Because he hits in the back of, um, is that like Alba? I think so. He hit in the back of him and, like, ruined his front wing, and ruined his tire without a race. Oh my god, the helicopter was fast, what the hell? Um, I don't know if you guys seen that in front of me, that dude just zipped around. Uh, but it's not even just the fact that he damaged the car. That's a new fastest lap for the race. He was out of the race. Uh, it's the fact that, you know, Max is competing for the win the whole time. He was up in like, from the furthest back he was in like fourth, and that was a bad start. Yeah, a bad start. And he slowly made his way to the he was able to get to the lead and won the race. Um, you know, Pierre's in the back of the field, like, sliding, breaking too late, and, you know, going across the screen. And there was one spot, I think in the hairpin turn, it might have been. You see the drivers and you see him sliding through. What? So, I mean, I think that's the thing. I don't want to hear, like, I'm not here to trash on him, and a lot of people do, and, like, the comments, and, He's just, I don't know if it's the pressure of being in the, one of the top three teams in the series, or what it is, but he's just not performing well. And I know the car is set up obviously for Max, we know that the car is set up for him. It's going to suit his style. Yeah, the car suits the style of the driver, and it's built around him. Mercedes, you know we're built around those hands. That's, that's a fact. We're not building the Mercedes box this lap. Uh, Ferrari's in a different situation. Uh, the way that they are, they said Sebastian Vettel started the number one, but Charles Leclerc's driving like a number one. So, I don't, really, I don't know what Ferrari's doing. But you know for Red Bull that it's set up. In there, but did he come to the box and stuff? I think he did. So this thing, I'm not saying Pierre's a bad driver, because I can't be in a position to say he's a bad driver. I, mean, I don't do Formula One driving. Like, be careful, we think you're going to start it's hard to grip around now. get in the top series of things. I'm not going to be bad. Like, I may jokingly say that, like, you know, I'm happy. 
make it any sport, you know, whether it be racing, Formula One, NASCAR, whatever, or you know, something like basketball, or football, baseball, any of it, soccer, whatever you want to say. Like, to be in the top level in those sports, you have to be doing something right. So, I think more for Pierre than anything is the the pressure of being in Red Bull, I think is his issue. Not necessarily being that driver because he finished fourth in the car Ross. Release, Last release. There's a reason he got elevated to Red Bull. <laughs> you know, Red Bull's not just gonna pick up some random drivers and get the car. Red Bull's not calling me up saying you wanna come drive that one car for us. So that's the thing, I, I don't think that he's a bad guy, I just think that pressure's in a lot of it. You know, I'm sure he sees the comments on social media, everybody's saying, oh, he's bad, he shouldn't be in the car, and things like that. So, I don't know. It's just, he's getting absolutely after by his teammate, and it, it reflects badly to him. Is Vettel starting on media? Did he start on mediums? I want to find out. I don't think he hit. No, he started on mediums. Ferrari started on mediums this race. Interesting. So I feel like they're going to go longer. Well, they have to. I have to be careful. I want to get by him because I have better tires, but I just don't want to smash up. It's not really cost me potential win in the race I was going to pull away. Down. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, I don't feel like he will stay in the car oh my God. after the season. Be out, but I still hope he ends up on a team. That's, uh, yeah, maybe it's a pretty good team. Well, still on a team. Well, a couple of good teams. I want to be a good team. I can show these still. The gap to the car seconds. ahead is 5.8 seconds. Um, so, now we're talking about the, uh, the German Grand Prix, which was the most wild Formula 1 race I've ever seen, obviously. It was the first thing I've been watching. Uh, and also, it's probably the most wild race that I've watched, like, in general, in a long time. I also do want to say that I've been a lot more interested in Formula 1 than uh, NASCAR this year. And NASCAR just got boring for last summer. Like it's, to me, I just sort of stopped caring as much. I mean, I'll like, look at who wins or whatever. I may watch a race if it's a really good track, but for the most part, it was a race on Sunday. I was at I woke up watching the Formula 1 race because, uh, you know, F1's everywhere. All over the world, so it's not in the second half. Yeah, the ones in Europe are typically early in the morning. Not typically one I watch live, but the one that I watch live is Bahrain. I watch the end of it because it's nighttime in Bahrain, so it's like early and up here. Who's living up here? I don't know if I really want to watch it. But I was wondering. I think China was like two and three. But, either way, I just, uh, you know, I've had more so much fun with that. I had the race record on YouTube TV, went in, uh, you know, watched the, watched the race, and NASCAR was on, like, a couple hours later, and I turned it on, and didn't watch it. I put it on TV just because my mom was in the, uh, she was doing stuff in the kitchen, doing stuff outside. She's reading a book outside, but I turned it on because she asked me to turn it on. Yes. But I just, I haven't really watched it. I think the last one I watched was like early, it was early July. It's been about three months since I've watched it. I watched it because that's a great race. But one of the one, it was, uh, you know, I've watched all but one race, but I watched, I didn't watch Spain, I was at my brother's house, 
objection to my brother who was the one that told me to watch the Netflix series. Which, uh, I got uh, very excited for season two, though. As well. But, um, I was at his house just because I stayed over that night. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Uh, I went to go watch his dog later in the summer. Gap to teammate behind this. In the summer. That was when, five seconds. when I was at his house when I got the idea to do it. I was at his house. But I stayed over his house. And it was like Sunday morning and woke up. We're going to watch it. And we woke up later than me. Obviously, the last couple weeks of Formula 1 were really, really exciting. Uh, Austria was a really, really good race. I'm passing out of uh, action there. And the finish between Charles Leclerc and Max was really, really good. Then we went to Silverstone. Uh, same thing. We had Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc really going at it for a while. Uh, good battle at the start between Lewis Hamilton and Mark Bottas as well. And then we had uh, Sebastian Vettel. Crashing the back of Max Verstappen. Somehow both of them still cover. And Max is able to finish. And you know, overall it was just a good good race to watch as well. Pretty exciting. And then we went to Germany. So since there's been the, the heat wave that's been in the road, it's been pretty hot there. I've seen some stuff on the Twitter and things like that on the super hot and everything. So you know, when it's hot, that typically creates rain. And did it rain in Germany? Um, so, you know, after all the heat that was going on for a couple, couple days, the rain came on Sunday and it was great for the race. The first rain race of the season. That was the first rain race that I watched. Now, of course, rain always changes things like how your strategy works. There's a rule where you have to switch your tires once in the race. I don't know if I can know the definition of the rule, it's not simply you can switch your tires. Then you have to... I think it basically if you use two different contacts on the race, then it's the rule. Uh, the, the thing with that is... Uh, I think Charles Leclerc is going to go to Sauce. The only thing is that you want to get tested. So I'm not going to say Um... So, yeah. That's a new fastest lap for the race. That rule gets done off the window because you can just use intermediate or white tires, basically. So, with that, you know, that already changes things up because there might not be a best lap at all. Because obviously there's no fuel. But, the track happened to dry out. So, they started on the wet, so then they went to intermediates pretty early. Uh, there was a crash like, in the second lap. Or a safety car. Engine failures for some cars and things like that. Oh my god. So I think, I don't know how many cars did finish. Six? Five or six in the It counted Pierre Gas was finishing, but he didn't finish. So, 13 cars finished. He didn't get a DNA, he just didn't finish. If that makes sense. The DNF did not finish, but it didn't get a DNF. I don't know how it works. He got 14, and everybody's like, basically. Either way, what happened was, you know, some of the drivers started switching to the intermediates. And then it was still wet on the track a little bit, but some of the drivers went to soft. And then some of the drivers went to mediums. We've seen Niger Sappen spin out on the mediums because they were too hard for them before. Uh, we've seen Lewis Hamilton went to the pit, and got on the soft tire. Charles Leclerc was going to come past him and take the lead, which probably would have given him the win. Uh, there's, there's a good chance that would have given him the win. Uh, but then, he slides off the track in the last turn. It was like super, super wet in that first turn. Or the last turn. It's like turn 14 or 16, I don't remember. Uh, but in that turn, it's super, super wet. 
there's like a drag strip there, which has a lot of water. So you slide off, you're just going to the wall. So he went on the wall. I don't. I think there was like three things. If we had a uh, Hulkenberg went off the track as well in that same area. If Carlos Sainz had went off the track in that same area, he was able to stay going, but Hulkenberg did not. And Charles Leclerc went off, hit the wall. He was trying to get out. I think if he reversed, he might have been able to get out. Was, like, it, well. um, it looked like he couldn't, but he went forward and got his car stuck. So that brought out the safety car. Then Lewis Hamilton, the leading the whole race, went off in the same spot broke his front wing, but still could keep going. And that just changed everything, because, you know, this guy's been leading the entire race, and then all of a sudden, he's, like, out of contention. Because I think he was a fifth. And then he got the penalty for cutting over on the wrong side of the entrance. And it, it was insane. And then Max managed to slide in, and he got his intermediate tires, and it's just like, what's happening? But to watch the Mercedes pick through, and the way that they, like, struggle because they weren't expecting it. I mean, they were not expecting someone to come in the wing and they were put on different tires and it was just a mess. Uh, it, it was so exciting to watch. Uh, I just, you never, you didn't know who's going to win. And then they did a another, another like part of the race that kept going. And they had a couple laps left and then Valtteri bought us. Actually, it was Lewis Hamilton first. He went along to the spot with water. Just a little bit, he hit it and just flat. But he was keep going. Valtteri Bottas hit the same spot of the water, went smashed in the wall, and ruined his car and took down the race. So that brought out the safety car again. Everybody gets lined up and go. And then the track's drying out. So then all the cars come down pit and switch to soft tires. It was just, it was crazy because everybody hit like that. And Lance Stroll wanted to be in the lead because his team went to sauce under the safety car, so he ended up coming out in the lead, but Racing Point is not going to be a good match against uh, Red Bull. So Max quickly passed the pass and took the lead. And then Sebastian Vettel drives on the field, which is also super impressive, the fact that he came back from 20th to conventional second. Went through there, and then then he created as well, getting in uh, Podium getting third for Carl Russell. That was crazy. So it was just all around crazy finish. I don't think anybody would have expected that to be a podium, uh, especially having a Carl Russell. You know. And having a Ferrari in the podium and, you know, a Red Bull winning, not really surprising. But you'd probably say, oh, Lewis Hamilton's in the podium. I'll be fine. That's not the But it's a Carl Russell. Uh, which is, uh,. Cool. Second podium for the team ever. Uh, since Sebastian Little won the game. It was just eight in Italy. Uh, that's just crazy. They, uh, they finally got on the podium. Hit a kid like the night before. So, crazy lead for him as well. But yeah, it, it's just an uh, all around like, wild, wild race. So many safety cars. The race sort of did a couple of laps following a safety car and then it started. It was just it was insane. The amount of just like wild things that happened in that race. It, it was fun to watch. There didn't more rain. Metro Seven had uh, hit five times. That's the most hit in the inner race. I know this is totally not such a five. I think Michael Schumacher did it. I think I said that during the uh, uh, watching uh, the video. I'm watching. I watch a lot of like Formula One videos. I always like to. I want to know stuff about things I'm interested in. I don't want to be like, uh, interested in it. And, uh, When I got into Formula 1, there had been 997 races in the world. Because Australia was 998. So there's 997 races. So. And you know, we'll say I know about the 2018 season because I've watched the Formula 1 series. So I'm going to be saying about that. Talking about this year. They talk a lot about the previous season. 
so we'll say 18 or 19, I don't know what's happening, but, you know, I want to know about a team that I'm interested in, so, you know, Red Bull, I go back and try to learn all that stuff, but they didn't really get podium for a couple of years, and how they work, and got yeah, Queens finally, they chose them behind in the first year, they won four championships, the driver, the driver, you know, I just want to learn that stuff, learn who came in and drove, and all that stuff. Yeah, there's another history of sport in general as much as I can. But I watch a lot of videos and I watch drive seconds. Teams and things like that. So overall just trying to know what I'm seeing is basically. I just like to know what I'll do. Let's say when I got into basketball a couple years ago I tried to learn like a lot of stuff about the Warriors and the King team. And I wanted to know. I want to know about the other teams that have been struggling for years and things like that. I just want to know about the teams and the players and all that stuff. Just, just saying. Because, you know, other sports, I. For now, sports that I grew up watching. I've known about that for a long time. I learned the history of that through, again, similar means, but it was different because I was younger and I, was, I learned that stuff that way. By watching races and reading books and stuff. And, you know, as baseball, sometimes I sort of grew up watching as well, and the same with football. So those are the ones that I sort of knew more about already. But, you know, basketball is not really watched that much. Formula One, again, both sports that I learned more about recently. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I learned about sports too. Things like that. So, you know, try to learn as much as I can out of Formula 1. If there's something you think that I should know that I may not know, comment it down below. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for uh, a So, yeah, that was a good win there for uh, myself in that race. Red Bull. Uh, I've been drinking Red Bull during this race, actually. Anthony Davidson. Actually, I have. I think they were able to set themselves apart today. Well, this was a real team but, uh, victory. They yeah. put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions so, out on track. The driver did everything that was expected. Uh, that's that. Moment. We will be Red back with Formula One. Today after showcasing some incredible driving. Races. Been a huge um, push from them lately to we'll be going to Spain and certainly on August themselves. 16th with the Mercedes. We'll be going to the United States. On the 19th with Haas, and they'll be going to Bahrain with McLaren on the 26th. And then we have a mystery race, which I will reveal probably the day that he goes up. Uh, Some special day. Out on the track today, but Anthony, uh, who sort of wrap up the return summer. The I think for driver of the day, uh, and then uh, Norris, yeah. he lived up to every inch of his reputation today. Oh, they want to say, well, I'll say what day quietly, is. A bit proud of himself. Well, Anthony, it is the 29th of August. Special us, day. And we'll see I'm not going to say what track. I'm not going to say what car we're racing. Uh, but uh, yeah, special episode coming out on the 29th, so we're going to do four videos in the last week of the return to summer. I want the last gaming video to be the game that I play the most during the summer, uh, which is F1. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. So basically you can say from when I'm recording this episode, one month away, we'll be playing the final uh, game of Return to Summer. Thank you all for watching. Uh, also, as a note for what's coming up this week, it's a full week of gaming here on the channel. The 6th, we are playing Rocket League, so tomorrow. The 7th, which is Wednesday, we're playing Overwatch. On the 8th, which is Thursday, we are playing GTA. Then on the 9th, Friday, we are playing Gran Turismo Sport. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you tomorrow for a special Tuesday episode of the Return to Summer.